here today with veteran Daniel Clay. What brought him in as a veteran into the Career Center here? How are you doing today? Doing great. Just got out of class. Outstanding. What types of cha different challenges uh, were you facing when you came into the Job Center here? When I came into the Job Center, I was new to Kirksville. Um, just moved here like, during Thanksgiving. I was technically a homeless veteran. Uh, my sister called me and told me I can come stay with her in Kirksville for a while and try to get back on my feet again. Um, you know, so I am staying with my sister. I had no money, no car, I didn't have a job, I'm separated from my family. Um, so it's just a few of the challenges I was facing. What made you choose coming to the job center specifically here in Kirksville? Um, I was actually enrolling here in MACC with my uh, post 9-11 GI Bill to try to get some income rolling in uh, for housing and stuff. Um, but the, the job center is in the school, so it's kind of just convenient and logical to just uh, come over here. And it is, the, it is a Missouri Job Center office, so it just seemed like a more convenient and logical decision to come and talk to you guys. Plus, okay. you guys are veterans here, too, so it's, you know, get to talk to somebody who can relate to Absolutely. Stuff, you know. Absolutely. What different services uh, were you provided uh, while you were here uh, at the Job Center trying to overcome some of those challenges? Well, when I first came to the, uh, the Job Center, I... They set me up with like an online account, a Missouri Jobs account. They helped me build a resume, um, told me who was hiring in the area. I was actually making phone calls to um, HR rep representatives for me in, in my behalf. Um, uh, I've, I think I took almost like three different interviews from three different employers here at this career center. Um, and I interviewed for Craft here with Giovanni. Um, yeah, so lots of different services. Um, I mean, they helped me do anything I needed pretty much on when it comes to the computer or paperwork. There's always, I always had answers here. So, How did you benefit from using the Job Center? Uh, what ended up uh, from going from point A to point C where we are today? Well, from day one coming into the Career Center, which was probably, I would say, sometime in December. Mm -hmm. I moved here at the end yep. of November. Um, now it's early March. Um, so from day one coming into the Career Center, from now, I have received employment. I work at Kraft now um, as a full-time employee. I am a full-time student in college, um, getting getting paid to go to school now. Um, I have reunited with my family even. Uh, they came up here last week and visited for a couple weeks, my, my three-year-old son and my wife. Um, you know, I don't have a car yet, but I did upgrade. Uh, I've got a bicycle I ride because I only live a mile from school and about a mile and a half from work, so a bicycle keeps me in shape. and. Um, you know, I'm still saving up for a car, but um, yeah, lots of benefits. I mean, I'm glad. Like, Kirksville seemed like a pretty good spot for me to, to land in. Yeah, pretty pretty lucky with this place. What was your starting pay uh, with Kraft? Fifteen dollars and ninety cents an hour. Okay. At thirty six okay. hours a week. At thirty six hours a week. All right. Well, good deal. And they're working really well with you with your school schedule and work schedule. Yep, I work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, seven a.m. to seven p.m. And then I go to school Monday through Thursday. So I mean, it's almost it's too perfect. Yeah. Man, busy schedule. Yeah. But luckily, the school days will be kind of like my my easy days because <laughs> the cops, it's not easy work. So. Yeah. 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 Outstanding. Uh, what would you say to other job seekers or other veterans uh, that come into the Career Center? Uh, um, well. Looking to, to overcome some of those same challenges. Yeah. Um, I know it's, it's hard to ask for help sometimes, and I would encourage uh, any veteran or any person who was in my situation or even a worse situation than mine to, you know, first of all, don't be afraid to ask for help. Um, you know, if you need help building a resume, ask for it. There's plenty of people who would help build a resume. Um, basically just take all the help you can get. I'm, you know, one of the people that kind of like shies away from help. Like I can do it myself. I'm a grown man. But then again, you know, sometimes you just need a hand up, you know, not a hand out. So, um, you know, I know there's people that want to help too. There's people that care about the veterans and stuff like that, which, you know, in the army, I might not have thought that, but now that being out and, and working with civilians that that, that care, uh, you realize that there are people out there who, who can help and want to help. So I would definitely urge them to just get out there and do it. You know. Well, thank you, man. I sure appreciate it, and we look forward to. Uh, obviously, we're fortunate; we get to see you almost every day here in the building. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, look forward to keep hearing uh, as you press forward and overcome all these things. Look forward to hearing back from you. Thank you for your time, Dana. Thank you.